might not be at this level again, so they want to pick their fighter up and carry him around. <laughs> is on his feet in the corner talking with his guys. Bradley's still hoisted aloft. And let's take a look at the story of the fight in highlight form. And the caption here is Manny Pacquiao's straight left hand. One of the dominant weapons in boxing, perhaps the number one offensive weapon in boxing over the course of the past eight or ten years. Manny Pacquiao's straight left hand, Emmanuel Stewart, dominated this fight. But after the first few rounds, he never could land it consistently. You know, he could land it every once in a while, but usually, most of the time, Bradley was moving away from the punches. And he never could land it side. after these first two right here. The rest of the punches, he couldn't land just the way he wanted to. But he still did enough to win the fight and overpower Bradley. Harold, how did your scorecard wind up? Look at him, I got a 119, 109, 11 rounds to one, Manny Pacquiao. I agree with the, with the graphic, uh, with the uh, clip that shows that straight left hand landing over and over and over again. That was the determining factor in each and every round. He would hurt Bradley with that straight, vicious left hand. Bradley couldn't knock enough power shots to hurt Pacquiao more. 11 to 1, Manny Pacquiao. All right, Harold Letterman, take us through the three official judges who will score the fight. Very quickly. All right, Jim, as I say, Dwayne Ford teaches all the other judges how to judge. Very solid choice here. C.J. Ross, uh, she's been judging for a while. There's no doubt about it. Uh, she's been judging since 1992. But I don't know if she's ready for a major fight like this. A little bit shaky. Jerry Ross. Very good judge. Had a, a tough time recently with uh, Brandon Rios and Richard Abril, but other than that, he's usually pretty solid. All right. And Michael Buffer is standing by with the official results. Let's go to him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. Jerry Roth scores about 115-113 for Pacquiao. CJ Roth scores it 115-113. For Bradley. And Dwayne Ford scores it 115, 113 to the winner by split decision. And new WBO welterweight champion of the world, the Desert Storm, Timothy. I think Harold Letterman is the best scorer alive, and I think that is a terrible, bogus decision. I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Dumb, dumb, dumb I, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, that's where they started off the, the 115 and 113. And I, I, have, I have no comment. I'm totally confused. I'm as confused as anyone could possibly be. Jinky Pacquiao's reaction at ringside. Timothy Bradley has scored an upset split decision victory over Manny Pacquiao. God only knows how. Emmanuel, or excuse me, Harold Letterman. Jim. You covered Dwayne Ford with glory. You talked about how he teaches the others how to score. He scored the fight for Timothy Bradley. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Manny Pacquiao was the aggressor all night. He walked him down, he set him up, and then he belted him with the left hand. I mean, you couldn't miss it. Timothy Bradley covering up, backing up, never really landed a solid shot that stopped Pacquiao in his tracks, never hurt him once. I mean, that decision was a crime. Without question, Manny Pacquiao won the fight. What is happening to scoring in Las Vegas, Nevada? This is the second decision here this year that those of us who follow the sport have to look at and think of as absurd. 
Bob Arum smiling uh, as he hugged Timothy Bradley. Yeah, both under contract. But you know, after being here for the second Hearns Leonard fight, and in doing that decision, nothing really surprises me in decisions. Well, there's Manny Pacquiao waving to the crowd and smiling. If that was a test of his new commitment and religious faith, he passes the test because he's able to treat this equanimously, at least so far. Total punch is landed. Pacquiao lands 94 more by CompuBox count. And lands at nearly twice the connect percentage rate, landing 34% of his punches to 19% for Bradley. Power punches, 190 for Pacquiao, 108 for Bradley. 28% to 39%. And frankly, I didn't see Bradley land that many really solid connect shots in the fight. No, when they had those little flash exchanges, he landed punches a lot of time. He would get out of way of many shots and land a lot of flash tail in punches, but I didn't think he did enough to beat him and win the decision. What about all the banging to the body and clinches? Could that have been the difference? It's just amazing to me. I have no way to understand this. Now let's take a look at Monica Bradley during the moment of the decision. And that's Cameron Duncan, who is Bradley's manager. And their level of ecstasy is almost beyond description. And this is Jinky Pacquiao who heard the third score and looks up in extreme disbelief. She's been to a few fights in her lifetime. She has a lot of company. The two boys came to their prize fight for the first time, and here's Bradley hearing the decision. Well, Bradley himself showed the emotions that he'd won the fight after the fight, his expressions. All right, Max Kellerman is in the ring. Let's go to him right now. Tim, congratulations on a tremendous performance of heart and determination. You hear the reaction of the crowd. Ringside, we had Pacquiao up by a considerable margin. It seemed to us that you guys thought you'd lost the fight at the end of the fight. Tell me about it. No, you know what? It was a good fight. It was a good competitive fight. Uh, every round was pretty close. Pacquiao, you know, he won some of the early rounds. The later rounds, I controlled, controlled the action with my jab. Ooh moving you know i gotta go back home review the tape and i'll see if i want to fight or really done you hurt your foot it seemed yeah. here's here's the here's the shot of what happened describe it to me i know i was stepping back i think i stepped on his uh his ankle i'm not sure what happened there it is right there there it is right there was this a pre-existing injury that you exacerbated it happened no not at all not at all I was just trying to get out the way of Manny's punches. Early on, we were very impressed by how much determination you were showing in the face of what looked to us like superior firepower. What did you think early in the fight when Manny was hitting you? Well, I mean, he, he's a strong puncher. Uh, he rocked me a couple times in the fight. But, you know, I withstanded it. You know, I held my ground and I fought hard to the end. Okay, what is this feeling for you right now the biggest win of your career, still undefeated officially, but you're, and Manny congratulating you, but you're hearing booze cascading down. What does this feel like? Uh, you know what? Uh, this is boxing. November 10th, we can do the rematch, and you know, he can make it up. He can make it up. As you predicted, November 10th rematch? Absolutely. Manny, what do you think about this fight? Well, you know, People know, and, and you know, I accept what, what, what the result is. I respect the judges, the delivery, all the officials, you know. I, I, cannot, I cannot blame them. It's, it's part of the game, and I accept that heartedly, and, and I give thanks to the Lord, you know. I mean, uh, I do my best, but uh, my best wasn't good enough. Did you think you won the fight? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Do you want a rematch on November 10th? No problem, no problem. I mean, I mean uh, let's uh, give credit to, to uh, Bradley, and um, he, did, he did well so, tonight, and, uh, you know, I respect, I respect him, and um, that's, that, that's the decision. We respect the uh, officials. Thank you, Manny. Tim, just to continue with you here for a second, and not to rain on your parade, because it's the biggest win of your career. How does it feel to have the official verdict to have won, to, be, to have beaten Manny Pacquiao? I mean, it feels great. It feels great, but I'm not satisfied. Um, 
you know, you can hear the boos in the crowd. You know, everybody in the crowd think I lost the fight. I know it's predominantly pack out fans, but you know what? Uh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. The punch that numbers favored him by a bunch, thrown, landed, etc. But there were some quieter rounds, especially later in the fight, where you seem to maybe have pulled it out. I spoke to someone who, whose opinion I trust ringside, who did score the fight for you. Um, you said you wanted to go back and, and look at the tape. What are you looking for? Well, I'm going to see if I won the fight or not. You know, uh, I was in here. I thought it was a close match. Um, let, me go, let me go back, watch the tape, and see if I won the fight. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. An honest answer from an honest fighter. Congratulations on a gutsy performance against the great fighter himself, Tim. Jim? All right, thank you very much, Max Kellerman, and all credit to both Manny Pacquiao and Tim Bradley for a very spirited prize fight. Let me say this, and I say this to friends and, and uh, colleagues all the time. Scoring prize fights is not all that easy. It isn't as easy as it looks. If you try to score a prize fight, you might find yourself running into the same obstacles that official scorers sometimes run into. But, Emmanuel, it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that difficult. No, but, you know, I'm, I'm just so confused. When I saw it here in the schools, 115, 113, I mean, just the fact that even if it was for Manny, I was surprised that close. But, you know, everybody laughs at me because I love knockouts, and that's why. I've saw this so many times. It's a part of boxing. Thomas Harris and Sugar Ray Leonard, the second fight with Tommy and I can read down twice, and they still called it a draw. But, you know, I just accepted it. We walked out of the ring. Officially, that's what it is, and that's what it is tonight. We can, it was still a good competitive fight. It wasn't a one-sided fight, but it was about as close as you could get without one guy being knocked down a few times. I'm trying to think of a decision with which I more disagree. I think I have to go all the way back to Shannon Briggs versus George Foreman. Max Kellerman, how do we explain this to our fans? Well, first, um, you know, guys like me always say, well, the money guy in the fight uh, is the guy who's going to get the benefit of the doubt and win the decision and top rank the most powerful promotional entity. Pacquiao means the most money to them. That sort of, this sort of dispels that line of thinking. I can think of fights like Stevie Johnston and Cesar Bazan, for instance, where the rematch, where people sitting on one side of the ring thought Stevie Johnston shut him out. On the other side of the ring, thought Bazan won a close decision. I do notice polling people ringside, some of whose opinions I trust, that those sitting by Bradley's corner seem to think he won. Some credible people think Bradley won. And I also remember the Mosley De La Hoya rematch, where you guys, I didn't call that fight, it was you guys with Larry Merchant, and you guys had De La Hoya winning by a, a substantial margin. I was sitting ringside in press row. I thought Mosley won. So I'd like to, as Tim said, go back and look at the tape and, and, and maybe view it again with the sound off so maybe we're not influencing what I'm thinking. Um, that said, usually the guy who on CompuBox lands many more punches, lands many more power punches, when that, especially when that jibes with what I think I saw, I'm pretty confident saying I thought that fighter won. And yeah. that was Manny Pacquiao. It'll be fascinating to see what the media scores are. Yes, there was the giant disparity the night of uh, De La Hoya versus Mosley, too, when all of us on the broadcast team were sure that De La Hoya had won, and virtually everybody on press row thought that uh, Shane Mosley had won. Maybe we gave won. into groupthink. I'd like to go back and see, but I, I don't maybe, think maybe so. Maybe we let each other along. I don't Perhaps. find that I've ever influenced Harold Letterman that way. He had it 10 rounds to two. By the way, if you're looking for where the margin of victory came from, on the official scorecards in the last three rounds, 10, 11, and 12, that's nine scorecards, and on those nine scorecards, Pacquiao won one. So eight of the last nine round scores went to Bradley in this fight. Now, again, Harold Letterman scored both the 11th and the 12th rounds for Pacquiao, but they were relatively close rounds. Could we have led ourselves down the primrose path, Emmanuel? We could have. You know, I'm, I'm also thinking Manny got the benefit of a controversy to say his last fight here with Marquez. And in my mind, I've always said, if it's another close fight, I don't think the Nevada Commission will put themselves on the line and say they're just going with the money fighter, which is Pacquiao. But never would I expect anything like this to happen. But I'm looking at the judges. All of the scorecards was fairly consistent to some degree, even though totally not blending in or compatible with what we thought and most of the fans thought. But that's the way it is. And Timothy Bradley is the new WBO welterweight champion of the world. And one significant effect, which we have not mentioned at all up to this point, is that if you are... If you're one of those who's been waiting with bated breath for three years for Manny Pacquiao to fight Floyd Mayweather, 
you're going to be waiting longer because this has thrown a giant monkey wrench into any momentum which may have existed toward a negotiation for that fight. Now, Floyd Mayweather is within his rights and saying, why do I have to fight Manny Pacquiao? He just lost his last fight. So probably, unquestionably, we're going to see a rematch between Pacquiao and Bradley. That presumes that Pacquiao wants to continue his boxing career and wants to get back to the level where he's been. Tonight, he has the fourth loss of his career. Tim Bradley is still unbeaten and has a brand new status. I've seldom been more befuddled by a decision, and I think it was flat out wrong. Thanks very much for being with us on this terrific pay-per-view attraction.